when the, when the layer or the casing of the water balloon, the annulus fibrosus, starts to fail, because it's been injured in some way, shape, or form, we find that the fluid escapes through here. This might be a, an injury from a while ago. Right? Often, you don't even know this has happened because you don't have a very good nerve supply to the inner layers of the disc. We're not aware of what's happening there. And so often we find there may be a bit of back stiffness, back discomfort, something like that. But now what you will notice is there are more layers on this side of ligament than there are on this side. So when we squash down on the front part of the disc, we are directing the fluid preferentially backwards. We're doing exactly the same here. We are directing the fluid preferentially backwards. But the fluid just wants to go where it's weakest. And so if there's, I'm just using random numbers here, if there's five layers of ligament on this side and there's only uh, and there's seven on this side, the fluid will naturally want to go through that weakest point. And it's going to start to pr start to focus strain on this area. This is where we have those repetitive injuries and we're bending forwards and it's like, oh, it went a little bit and then it went a lot worse. And that's when we get the herniation. So what is the problem with the herniation or the bulge, right? The bulge just being a lesser significant than the herniation. What is the problem? The problem is going to be discussed with the surgeon in this particular case that we're going to do a disectomy to remove this. But that's not really the problem. The problem is the fact that the annulus has been broken. The ability for that disc to, to, or its capacity to bear load has been impaired significantly. That is the problem. And so does the disectomy help anything towards that? The disectomy is there to remove this bit of disc. That is the purpose of the disectomy. That might be discussed and hypothesized with the surgeon that that might help you in the process, but it will be, if it's a good one, discussed that it is part of the process. They've removed that main thing, which might have been giving you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, raging sciatica down the leg. But the comment here would suggest that's not the case. And so as a result of that, you might then be able to be in a greater state of comfort to do the rehabilitation work necessary to rebuild strength and health in the lower back. But the disectomy is not doing anything to help the injury itself. It is cleaning up the area. It's fundamentally, you could say, a cleanup operation. When we're having the laminectomies and the other kind of surgeries where we're removing bits of bone, we're not suggesting those bones are the problem, but they are trying to make the hole larger so you've got a bit more space in that area. Something to bear in mind. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense.